there it is. There it is. The news has just broke. It just came out like 30 seconds ago here. The Minnesota Vikings have just went out and released running back Dalvin Cook. Now, yes, this move was expected, but it's still crazy to see, man. Like Dalvin Cook, literally one of the game's best running backs, is out on the open market and is going to be a late summer signing for an NFL team. Now, there's been, and funny enough, I actually posted a video kind of dishing out my thoughts um, about the New York Jets rumors with Dalvin Cook yesterday. I'm going to say, you know, a lot of the same stuff here. And by the way, I actually, um, if I sound a little different or look a little different, I had a, a lot of dental work done yesterday, so I'm still super sore. But in any case, no. So Dalvin Cook has been linked to numerous teams, a ton of teams, right? We can talk about the Jets, right? In the in the latest rumors, we can talk about the Cowboys. We can talk about the Buffalo Bills, the Miami Dolphins, the Denver Broncos, before the draft, the Atlanta Falcons. There's a lot of teams that will have interest in Dalvin Cook. What is really the deal breaker for a lot of teams is price, right? The draft is over, free agency is over, you know, like how much more money is left to really go around? The Jets right now are sitting in fourth in the NFL and overall cap space at twenty four, just over twenty four million. And on paper, we're really, really good. Like, hey, that's awesome. But a portion of that, I would say, the majority of that twenty four will be going to Aaron Rodgers after the contract restructure. Remember, he's only getting paid, technically speaking, right now. The what well, what was it? It was just over a million bucks for the season and over a hundred next season. That will definitely change. So a contract restructure will mess with the cap space, the overall cap space for this season. Uh, but Corey Davis can still get his contract restructured. He's owed what what was it, 10.5 million. So if the Jets really, really want to make a move and these rumors are right, um, you know, I... I could see, you know, the Jets just making a couple tweaks to the roster and all of a sudden they have enough money to, you know, to pay him. But here's the here's the thing. I mean, we look at running back right now for the Jets. It's loaded. Michael Carter, Bam Knight, just drafted Izzy A from Pittsburgh uh, in the draft, mid-round pick. And of course, Brees Hall coming back from his ACL injury. The hope, the expectation is that he will be back for week one. Sala said it himself that he is looking really, really good. Everything's progressing well. There hasn't been any sort of setbacks or anything like that. So we're talking about four running backs, four running backs that are young, talented, have high upsides. We have depth at the position. Is running back in need? No, it's not. But the Jets are in a win now mode with Aaron Rodgers. And let's be honest, Dalvin Cook would come in and start over all of those guys. Um, especially with Brees Hall, maybe, you know, maybe if the injury isn't, fully healed by week one, or maybe there is a setback. Maybe something like that happens. Um, maybe Dalvin Cook would be the smart answer here for New York. But again, to kind of push back on that, because of not only just Dalvin Cook's resume, but because of Dalvin Cook's suitors and the amount of teams that are probably going to be interested, his price tag is going to be going up, you know. So you don't want to be in a bidding war with other teams to, you know, you're potentially going to get Dalvin Cook, but you're paying like a lot more than what he was originally asking for. Um, it, it's, a, it's a tough situation. Look, if the Jets go out and get Dalvin Cook, I'll be, I'll be pumped up, man. I'm going to be extremely excited. But on the other hand, I think if I was running the team, I would use the money I would spend on Dalvin Cook and I would go re-sign Quan Alexander. I would try to restructure this Rodgers thing as soon as possible. I would maybe look at trying to target a third center fielding safety, like a true free safety in the back end of the defense. Somebody that can just cover a ton of ground and cover three situations. Um, I like Clark. I like Whitehead. But I really feel like we lack that that guy that can just flock sideline to sidelines with ease. And, you know, I'm not saying that those guys are a dime a dozen. But, you know, the... Thinking about, you know, the teams that we're going to be playing this season, thinking about the playoffs, like I really would like, again, a center fielder back there, somebody who can just cover a lot of ground. Um, XNQ, that's another thing that I feel like needs to get done. It should get done. Sala said it will get done, but it hasn't up to this point. I thought it was going to get done in like February. It's middle, it's uh, early June here, June 7th, no, June 8th. 
So we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Dalvin Cook released by the Vikings. Where will he go? I'm going to say Dolphins. I hate to say it, but I'm going to say the, the Miami Dolphins. There were there was talks about uh, Miami potentially trying to trade for him during the draft or before the draft, and it didn't work out. I don't know why the talks fell through, but it is what it is. I think um, I think it's either going to be the Dolphins or the Buffalo Bills. Uh, there's a lot of buzz starting Miami, though. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, and as always, go Jets.